My name is Jaron Price and I'm an associate engineer uh, in automation here at SEL. I was an undergrad at UNC Charlotte uh, getting my bachelor's in electrical engineering degree. And I was looking for an internship. Um, SEL actually came out to what we call is uh, we have an engineering picnic which is basically just a giant engineering career fair. And as soon as I talked to him I turned to someone else and said hey we need to go interview this kid. Our primary function is we invent, we design, we manufacture, and we build um, electronic products that, simply put, help keep the lights on, as Dr. Sweitzer, our founder, would say. One of the cool things that we do is we work with a lot of our universities um, that are local to us, and that's very important for SEL. We bring interns in and we actually train them specifically how to be professionals, how to think in this career, and how to actually utilize those skill sets that they're learning from their academia to bring it here into the workplace. And when I go to a university, I want to be able to talk to the students to find out what their interests are, maybe even learn something about what they're working on. It was kind of a breath of fresh air when I got in here uh, to become an intern. Jaron's interests and our interests were pretty much a perfect alignment at that time. By the end of my internship, I was doing some of the same things that I'm doing now. They want you to do work that is going to help you learn and grow and prepare you for what you're going to do in the future. I look back on it and I'm grateful that I had the opportunity and, and found a company with an internship program like that. You know, I, I really enjoy what I do here at SEL. And you see his excitement, right? And he immediately walks out knowing that he's contributing. You never know where good talent's going to come from, whether it's at NC State or Duke or wherever it might be. You know, that, that person, that, that promising person could come to us from anywhere. If you want to have a successful internship program, you have to have someone who's going to be the champion, who's going to own the program. But the universities are sitting there waiting for people like us to give them a call and say, hey, we want to be able to recruit and utilize your talent to be able to add to your education that you're providing to these young people. There are many, many high level schools here um, that has rich talent that if you don't capture that talent, someone else will. Think of it this way, your competitor will. I'd rather have that talent working for me than working for that competitor.